So what you're about to watch is a marathon vlog from being inside the ropes as a marshal in 2017. So this is the 23rd of April 2017. Um, said to Ollie that I might be able to do something like this. This didn't realise that it would actually work out so well. So here's a video. Thanks Ollie for letting me put it on your channel. And here we go. Mm. Morning everyone. It's 5.30 in the morning on Sunday the 23rd. It's marathon day. I'm just going to go get ready now. Ready for a great day. Fast forward to 6.10 in the morning, I've got my shirt on, I've got a hat and a Marshall bibs put on, but I'll show you some pictures later. So I'm just going to go get some breakfast. So I'm just in the car now, uh, it's coming up to 6.30, I'm going to drive to North Greenwich Station and park up, take the Jubilee line to Canary Wharf where I'll be situated, mile 19. Uh, so looking forward to it. Got my uniform on. Look like a carrot. So just arrived here at North Greenwich. It's quarter to seven. I'm a bit early of what I thought. Did it in 15 minutes rather than 25. Uh, just got North Greenwich there. Just try and show you. North Greenwich is there. That's the Greenwich O2. And just going to pay for parking and head inside. And I'll meet you in there. So I've just paid a healthy six pounds to park in North Greenwich. Uh, just heading to the station now. Tell you what, you do feel like a bit of an idiot looking like a carrot walking around. Luckily, it's nearly seven o'clock, so no one's around. But yeah. <laughs> so I live on the south side of the River Thames, so I saw all the drop off points and all the marshals are already out there trying to direct people, so that was really cool to see. The reason I'm vlogging is because I've never been to the marathon before and I'm quite looking forward to it. Just heading down the escalator now. Um, so yeah, so I actually get free travel today. Uh, I've got this course pass, it means that I can just walk into any station and get free travel. It's brilliant. Uniform. Is someone left Alice. There? Just getting a brief in now. Yeah. Alright, where's the toilets? There's lots of toilets around the room, we've got lots of uh, form to look at. Know where they are so you can direct people to toilets. Know where the first Tons of people here, we're just about to get some food. Oh, there's some orange juice there, I'm excited. Just getting and walking around the mile, having a look. So, me and Alice are positioned here. We've got like a camera behind us, we'll be on BBC. We're in a really nice spot. So, just watch the elite uh, wheelchair people come around. Uh, they'll come around from here. A little bit of context before you see the next part. It's just parts that Alice recorded while we were out there of the elites and some of the um, main runners just coming around. Keep going, we're on! here after the marathon uh, my family had recorded it on BBC so I checked it out and I recorded some more videos of us on TV. Well, she's definitely looking strong in Tiranesa and she's made up a five six second gap on Kip Rock who does look very tired. She is going to fade back down the field uh, without a doubt and there will be others who will get her in their sights and work on her and that's what's going to happen. And that victory for David Weir as well in the uh, seventh victory for David Weir in the men's wheelchair race and what a shot in, uh, in the women's wheelchair race, very different uh, races and we'll be rounding up all of those uh, elite races in just a few moments. Time. Chris Murphy, his daughter was diagnosed a year to the day with type 1 diabetes and he's raising money for Diabetes UK. Andy Wood raised over £4,000 for Little Lift, well done to him. Tony Moorcroft raised over £5,000 for the Saint Nick's Hospice. Actually keeping an eye on this evening, they, they see. Uh, over on the roads and you cannot run beyond 6.15 this evening unless there are exceptional cases which are happening in the... So, we just finished marathon stuff. Um, 
It's quarter to four now, I'm absolutely knackered. I'll give you like a full response later on. So, <clears throat> I'm back at home. Uh, it's just gone past eight o'clock in the evening. Had a great day, I'll do a summary uh, in a couple of days time. So it's now Thursday, the 27th of April. Um, four days after the marathon. Just gonna do a little reflection on how it was for me. Um, you saw some clips, I tried to do a lot before and we went out there and obviously I couldn't do a lot while we were there because our job was to motivate and enthuse people to keep running um, with eight miles left. So you saw we were on BBC which was actually quite cool to see yourself on BBC doing like the job. I did very much enjoy myself, it did kind of impact me quite a lot um, to be able to interact with people who uh, had all different types of stories from all different parts of the world, all came into one place and were all running for similar sort of purposes. Uh, so that was really interesting um, as well as that you kind of it was kind of like adrenaline rushed because I had to take some of the first aid um, got to learn their story got to in, get the crowd enthusiastic about the fact that he might have been out the marathon but you know make him feel better um, because he's been working so hard towards it also more things like the reaction you get from people um, just because you're, you're doing your job I mean you're not being paid to do your job but you're just doing your job because that's what you signed up to do and it's your responsibility to make sure that your job uh, impacts people in the right and the positive way. And so I wrote an article, uh, hopefully I'll put it down in the description if you want to read it, it's on my blog. Um, so that it, it kind of shows how we can use the lessons I learned from the marathon in real, in like real life. Uh, if you want to volunteer for the marathon, I'm sure there'll be some opportunities for you even if you don't go to university so make sure you definitely get involved you'll you won't regret it um you might regret the startup time and you might regret the pain afterwards but the experience you get from it is really next to none don't forget to comment if you enjoyed this um ask any questions if you have any questions like it so Ollie he gets more likes and subscribe because he's got more trouble things coming um we're obviously going to Italy, we've got another thing planned in the UK, which he's alluded to, um, as well as some more like talks and stuff like that, which he's got planned, um, as well as some fresh content, which um, he tells me about, but doesn't really tell me about. While he's in Australia, I'll sign out from the UK.